Hey everyone, I'm here for a really fun little tutorial. Um, I'll link below to the gal that I got this fun idea from. Her name's Corey. Um, anyway, so I'll have that link below that I got the tutorial for her, but I wanted to try it out and do it here with you. And anyway, hopefully it'll be useful to you, but such a cute idea. So here's the finished product. Um, she came up with this really fun little stacked kind of a pocket with a flip. So anyway, this one has three tags. One, two, three. And then here's a really cool thing is each of these is its own little flip to journal back behind. And then when you stick the tag in this little pocket, it will keep that little flip down. And there's a flip here at the bottom. And I just thought it'd be kind of fun to stick a tiny little paper clip or whatever you have that will help keep that down. But anyway, so each one of these is its own little flip and also a tag. And you can see I haven't glued this down. I just put some paper behind it. But that would go right into your journal like this. There's another flip up top. So you would just glue down these two sides to glue that in place. If you wanted, you could also put like an envelope back in here so you would be able to have another tuck back behind this on this side or something. Uh, anyway, just a lot of fun possibilities. So I'm just gonna make one with you here on video, at least part of it. I didn't want you to have to watch all of it. I already had my little three tags that I'm doing. I'm making a botanical junk journal here for my mother-in-law. So I had these already ready to go. So there's my three tags and that'll give me an idea about how deep and how wide I need my pockets. These are pretty narrow tags, so I'm not gonna need a lot. All right, so I took three papers and I'm trying some with some numbers on them. I thought that would be fun. And I really like the contrast of, I'll show you on this one, there's a darker paper and then a lighter paper and back to the little bit darker paper. Um, just to give you a little contrast, you could use pattern papers, but I think it's kind of fun to have the neutral and then have the color and the uh, character in these tags, but you can do it however you want. So anyway, I took three different papers. I'm gonna go for a dark, a dark and then a light, or a light, dark, light kind of a theme and I have some numbers. Now I had some scraps, so you'll see I already glued down about where the pockets are gonna be, that writing paper. Inside of the sample, I glued down some lined paper, but I had some extra book pages that were like the cover pages that didn't have writing, so I kind of used that. Same with this, this is just a book cover page that I had, and I glued some back here. So anyway, we're just gonna go for there, um, from there. And I thought it would be good to glue it down first because that way when you're um, trimming and all that later on, you don't have to worry about trimming two. You're just trimming it once and then you have what you need. So I'm gonna just trim off these sides. I don't really want this blank plain paper so I'm gonna trim my first and kind of see what size I need. So when I bend this paper down like so to make that tuck and that flip, then this is the part of the paper I'm gonna see. So pay attention to that, how you fold it, because you're folding it back like this, and this will create the pocket. So let's go from there. Now I am going to trim this a little higher and you'll see why it's because it's going to help connect all the pockets together so hopefully yes I am in frame woohoo all right let's take some measurements here just for these tags you're going to want to customize it to whatever your tags are so I think I'm going to do 15 centimeters and then for my width I'm going to take my tag and I'm going to give it a little extra space So I'm just going to come right here on that three inch mark. I think that'll be plenty. 
You know, you could also, and Corey does, she kind of assembles everything mm -hmm. and then trims it so it's exactly to width. But I was gonna ink before, so I'm gonna try it this way and see how it goes. Um, and we'll see if we like that. So no worries, just do what works for you. I think I need to trim this little edge off first. We'll go from this side. There we go. And I'm just trimming it backwards because so I can see where that paper is that I have there to write on. We'll line that up. Again, three inches for these ones. And I have one more. Trying to speed it along the best I can, but it is what it is. Now, again, I'm gonna leave this one a little longer right there just in case I need that extra flap to glue things down later. Okay, so now you're gonna see what we have here are going to be my little tabs and the flaps. And remember, this will be, so let's do the first one. All right, let me make sure I'm in frame. There we go. I can get my cutter out of the way now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and guesstimate because it doesn't need to be perfect. This will be a taller pocket, but I'm gonna go ahead and do about that high on this one. And they don't all have to be the same. It just really doesn't matter. So that'll be one. This one's gonna come this direction, and I think I want this one in the middle. So it looks like about the most I'm gonna get out of it will be about that much, which is fine. Oh, you can see this is old, old paper. I'll go back and glue that later on, but you can see how it just crinkled, and that's fine. It's just old from a really, really old book, but I love the color of it. So I just keep using it because it's just gorgeous. And that's okay. It's okay if they crinkle a little. All right, now see how I left that extra right there? That's just to glue a little bit right here and right here to create this pocket and give you a little extra place for your tag to go. All right, last one. Coming on up here. I've got plenty of extra on this one but I don't want it to be too tall, so let's just go ahead and do this, and we're gonna line it up right there with the sides of this and with the top of this little flap. All right, we're going for it. And again, just doing a really quick ink, just because I want to specify the different layers there so that it's pretty visible. Oh, for the sake of this, I'm gonna, well, I'll just trim that extra paper off for the sake of the video. There we go. All right, so we're practically done. You can see it's a super easy little project. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just glue down the sides of these two I'm just gluing all along the right and the left. I don't want to glue along the top or the bottom because that would glue our little pocket for our tags shut. So we don't want to do that. We're just going along the tops and the bottoms. There we go. We'll do it again on this one. And then that's going to leave us another fun little pocket and a little flip right there. Now when I put this in the book, depending on what I end up doing, I would likely be trimming that part right there off. So you can see I didn't quite get that lined up. There we go. That's better. Okay. So now we're left with Oh, can't get my stopper in. Okay, we're left with this cute little thing. So we have these little flips that we can journal in. One, two, three little flips. 
and let's see, I think this we go blue on the bottom. And you can put that in as deep as you can to the bottom of the page, depending on the size. And then you've got this one, number two. And then you've got this top pocket right here, number three. And you can kind of put those in however deep they need to go. I did not get enough glue down on this one. Let me try that one again. There we go. That ought to do it. And I guess you could come in here and sew along here if you wanted, but just be careful not to sew your flaps down or sew your little pockets shut too much. And that would be cute too. All right, so using my little paper, this would go, and I would trim that bottom off. I'll just do that right now with scissors. I don't want to cut my tag though. Get the tag out from there. So that's going to go right here on the paper, glued on both sides, unless I'm trying to get an, an, extra, talk, an extra tuck back there. That little tag can come to here. That one will go there, and this will be really cute because it'll be sticking out the top of the journal. I love it. Corey, I just love this idea. Um, I went ahead and I made this little cluster here just to decorate the front of that pocket, the very bottom one, because that's really the only one you're going to see much of. But anyway, fun, fun little pocket. They go together really easy. They go together quick. It's easy to customize depending on the size of your journal and the size of the tags you're working with. And you get just those cute, cute, cute little flips with that extra journaling in there. So you've got all your journaling in here as well as on the back of your cute little tags. So. Anyway, I just love this idea. I've been loving following some of her different ideas for different tags and flips and journal spots and it's just been a lot of fun. So anyway, I'll go ahead and post up the links that you're gonna need below um, if you wanna watch Corey's video as well to see how she does hers. But anyway, I hope you loved it. I just thought it was such a cute idea. So. Super excited to see what else she has planned, and I hope you all have just a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.